a CBS News exclusive. A captured al-Qaeda leader says the terror group now knows how to build a so-called dirty bomb. Is he lying or bragging? A terror tirade. An accused 9-11 conspirator tells the court he wants America destroyed and his lawyers fired. The Roman Catholic Church sex abuse scandal. America's cardinals are in Rome. Several reportedly want Boston's law to resign. And it's Bush Gore round two on the environment. This is the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather reporting from CBS News headquarters in New York. Good evening. If there were any doubt, terrorists are out to finish the job. They began September 11th. The United States got two new reminders today. An accused 9-11 conspirator stood up in court and said he is praying for the destruction of America. More about that in a moment. But first, a CBS News exclusive about a captured al-Qaeda leader who says his fellow terrorists have the know-how to build a very dangerous weapon and get it to the United States. CBS's David Martin is breaking this story. For months, U.S. troops have been searching Afghanistan for evidence about al-Qaeda's quest for weapons of mass destruction. Now Abu Zubaydah, who until his capture was Osama bin Laden's chief of operations, has told interrogators al-Qaeda is attempting to build a so-called dirty or radiological bomb that would be used against the United States to spew radiation into the atmosphere. On Friday, the FBI issued a public warning to 1,200 banks based on a claim by Zubaida that al-Qaeda is planning attacks on financial institutions in the Northeast. No warning was issued about a dirty bomb because Zubaida did not say al-Qaeda is actually attempting to smuggle one into the U.S. But it is certainly possible. Seven years ago, Chechen rebels, who have been linked to al-Qaeda, buried a parcel of low-level radioactive material in a Moscow park just to prove it could be done. U.S. officials don't know if Zubaida is telling the truth or bragging or both. Although he was badly wounded and is now being subjected to hostile interrogation, one U.S. official says he is a very tough customer. As are most of the other al-Qaeda terrorists now in U.S. custody who officials say have been well trained in how to resist interrogation. An English translation of an al-Qaeda training manual says the brother should not disclose any information no matter how insignificant he might think it is. His best hope, even under torture, the manual advises, lies in executing the security plan or cover story that was agreed upon prior to the operation and not deviating from it. Most of the prisoners held at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, seem to be going by the book. None of them has given up information that has allowed the U.S. to break up a terrorist cell or plot, and only six out of 300 have admitted to crimes which could be prosecuted by a military tribunal. David Martin, CBS News, the